Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 49, or the Trenches of Grime. Oh, that rhymed. Which is an endless battlefield war zone area that can be extremely dangerous if you aren't smart about it. So, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, go check out my new third channel, Spoogly. Just uploaded a Trevor Henderson's Creatures Explained video. A lot of you have been asking for that, and the video turned out great. Go check it out if you enjoy that kind of thing. Backrooms level 49 is classified as a class 2 difficulty and is unsafe with a small entity count. And the entities here are pretty weird, and I'll get into those in a second. The level looks like a battlefield war zone area, as I said earlier, similar to the ones from World War I. But there isn't actually any fighting that's currently going on, it just happens when you get out of the trenches that you spawn in. And the level is really only dangerous if you leave that trench area. Or, if something called a plane attack happens, which I will also talk about in a second. But if you do make the fatal mistake of jumping out of a trench, you will be attacked by weapons, wink wink, and you will be pretty much turned into Swiss cheese instantly, if you know what I'm saying. I can't say the actual thing or Susan will be pretty mad at me, but you know what I'm saying. And you will become victim to the other bodies in the field. The source of this enemy fire is unknown, but is obviously extremely dangerous and it should just be avoided. Just don't, don't get out of the trenches, like, don't do it. Now, something I hinted at earlier was those plane attacks, <laughs> which are the most actual present danger to the people inside of the trenches, because one of those projectiles that the planes are dropping might land in a trench with you, and, you know, that, that can't be good. It might explode. These plane attacks can last seconds, minutes, hours, days, and if you aren't careful, it can drive you insane. The most important thing to do is to find somewhere in a trench with like an overhead cover and to try to keep as calm as humanly possible to avoid losing your sanity. However, if a person doesn't keep themselves calm, they'll eventually succumb to shell shock, which is also a real life thing too, and the symptoms range from stress and anxiety to lack of blinking and that kind of thing. It's bad. And those symptoms happen in the back rooms too, but something else happens as well. If a person does in fact get affected with shell shock, they will start turning into something called a faceless soldier. And those are the entities on this level. And the faceless soldiers are split up into two different groups, the reds and the blues. The reds are the ones who stay on the west side of the quote unquote no man's land, which is the battlefield area. And they wear red clothes. The boomstick, wink wink, that they carry is a bolt action infield rifle, but they also carry explosives and that kind of thing. And they carry water canteens that are full. They normally don't attack wanderers though, and they're pretty chill and they ignore everyone they walk past in the trenches, so. But they will attack you if you hit them or something. And on the east side of no man's land is the blues. These are on the complete opposite side of the reds, and they're obviously wearing blue clothes, and they carry M1915s, along with explosives and water canteens. However, these water canteens are almost always empty, or about to be empty, unlike the reds, who have full ones. And on top of that, these blues are sickly and thin and injured most of the time, and they'll attack you if you instigate it. They're pretty much worse off than the reds, like they're getting beaten battle. Both sets of the faceless soldiers don't really do much besides walk through the trenches, but it definitely would be unsettling to see a soldier with no face and with weapons. I mean, I feel like I would have some sort of like existential crisis. To enter this level, you can go into a Humvee on level 35 to be sent here. Those are those military vehicle things. And to exit, uh, there's literally no way to as of right now, which adds a little bit more spookiness to the level since you'll be trapped in a war zone with random planes dropping explosives on you. That's scary. But yeah, this is one of the only war-themed levels in the back rooms, and I honestly find them pretty disturbing because of how terrifying war actually is. Like most of you watching and me, uh, we can't even begin to imagine how scary war is, and this back rooms level would throw you into that feeling and sensation with no warning and no escape. So I definitely think it's one of the scariest. Plus, you get attacked if you even peek out of a trench. That just adds to the scariness.
Thank you all for watching the video and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you all enough for the growth that's been going on right now. It is legitimately insane, and I am so excited where the channel is heading. 500k will be here before you know it, and I'll be getting that backrooms outfit with the shirts, the pants, the socks, all that stuff, and I'll be making videos in it. It's going to be a fun time. If you want to help me get there, drop a sub. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Make sure to check out the description below for the usual links, Twitter, Discord, Toogly, my second channel where I upload reactions and gaming stuff, and Spoogly, my new third channel, where I just uploaded a Trevor Henderson Creatures video over there. I think you're going to enjoy that. That, that channel is for all things cryptic and weird and creatures and that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Thank you for the support on there as well. Thank you all so much for everything you do. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next videos we've got planned on here. It's awesome. It's going to be great. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.